Hey everyone, it's Joe Hackman with DozeGoneSocial.com and ManageSolutions.com. And today I'm going to introduce you to a, what I think is a pretty darn sweet uh, plugin for WordPress. It's called Print Friendly and PDF. And part of the reason why I like this uh, particular plugin so much is because I think it's really going to fit better with the Web 1.0 crowd. You know, your parents, grandparents, etc. People that don't tweet, people that don't LinkedIn people that don't Google Plus, um, you know, people that are more prone to be Facebookers and that kind of thing, uh, and perhaps even more business uh, type people, um, you know, higher level business people. And uh, the reason I think that it's going to resonate well with them is because of the options that it provides. So if you're not on Twitter, um, you're basically not going to want a retweet button. So when you go into print friendly PDF, you actually have the ability to delete certain things out of here. Like let's say I wanted to delete this particular paragraph, I could delete it out of there. I could delete this title, um, all that kind of thing. So that gives me a lot of flexibility, but more importantly, I have the option to print PDF or email this. I can change the font sizes. I can remove the images. And then I also have the ability to un undo whatever changes I made to, to kind of roll back. Uh, so say I went in and deleted something, I could undo that and add it back. So I think this is actually a pretty powerful plugin. So let me show you how you would go about adding that. So it's basically just called, do a search for print friendly and PDF. And once you have it installed and activated, go ahead and go into the settings. I'm going to make a few recommendations. Um, one of them that I'm going to make is, well, you want to browse the uh, formats and see with which one you like, and you can change that. And if you do put a button in there, you can change the text for the button right here. Um, I like the, uh, well, actually, interestingly enough, the alignment didn't seem to work for me, so I jumped in the code to see why not. But it looks fine off to the left, even though it's set to center right now. Um, one of the things I would recommend changing, and I don't like cluttering up my homepage with buttons and things like that. I like people to be able to get into the feed and look at the actual post content and not see a bunch of tweet this or, or uh, print this kind of stuff. I want them to be able to browse and find the content they want. So I recommend changing that, but you go with whatever your needs are. And pretty much that's the only thing I change from the defaults uh, to get to where it is on my sites, uh, which is pretty much all integrated now. If I go to an individual post, see my sharing information at the top, but I scroll to the bottom and I now have the print and PDF option there. And people can actually then share my content in a more of a, a web 1.0 type fashion, not really social friendly per se, but uh, I think this will be really good or resonate with some of your readers. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to learn more, you can go to joesgonsocial.com or where I work, managesolutions.com. Have a great day.